Researchers at De Montfort University are working with local heritage groups across the UK to bring history back to life in the AHRC-funded Digital Building Heritage Project. The project uses the latest technologies in 3D computer animation, 3D printing, 3D modelling and mobile geolocation to observe, analyse, understand and interpret historic buildings and the people and artefacts associated with them. Focusing on 11 sites across the UK, including one in Staffordshire, the project is bringing a new energy and shape to these iconic buildings, so they can once again play an important part in their communities. The aim of the Digital Building Heritage Project is to uh, assist community heritage groups to achieve their aims and goals in promoting and preserving, looking after and visualising their historic buildings. The project is also using the latest geolocation technologies to create innovative mobile apps which allow the user to discover hidden secrets in their neighbourhood. The De Montfort team is working with the Wolverhampton Civic and Historical Society to create the Blue Plaque app which shows the location and details of blue plaques commemorating famous people, events and buildings in Wolverhampton. The Blue Plaque app um, we've developed with the Wolverhampton Civic and Historical Society um, and it's a, a mobile phone based app which includes all the commemorative blue plaques within the city of Wolverhampton. So it's going to allow uh, people living in Wolverhampton to, to, to do like a walk around the city centre, find out well, where all the blue plaques are and then it will provide them with lots more information telling them you know, what, what is the sort of story behind the plaque which is on the wall. The Digital Building Heritage Group is assisting the Haywood Society with the digital reconstruction of a very special window, originally from Old Tixel Hall in Staffordshire. The stones of this window represent an important link with a now vanished building which played a prominent part in English history. Mary Queen of Scots was briefly interred there and it served as a seat of Catholic rebellion against the Crown in the 17th century. The Tixel Hall window really, um, the stones that we have are the only tangible thing really that we have got left of Tixel Hall which was built in 1555. Using 3D printing to create a large scale model of the old Tixel Hall window, this amazing technological process is giving a physical presence to an almost entirely lost historic site. If you've got a three-dimensional solid object to look at, even if you can't touch it, it's much better than a, something on the screen. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this <laughs> later on. Having examined the original window stones and using extensive archive material, the De Montfort team have created highly accurate digital files of the old Tixel Hall window, which are then used to create the detailed 3D model. Before 3D printing the Tixel window, we had to uh, give the community heritage group, uh, the Tixel window people, the, their homework and to go away and give us all the information that, they, that, well, that we needed in order to create the 3D model, which included you know, drawings and some artist impressions as well of the, of the window, so we had an idea of what, what it was like and, and what we were looking at. Once we had this information, we created a 3D digital model and then from that model we were able to uh, make it into a single watertight shell and scale it into something that we thought would be big enough so you could see all the details but small enough so you could actually transport it around and be manageable you know, and handleable so that, that was the main thing. The 3D printed model is made in several stages using different 3D printing processes and materials which are then fitted together to give a truly accurate picture of how the window would have looked. It's important to tell the story because it's, it's a long story and it's a story of the community and to that extent it is all our stories. The Haywood Society is using the digital reconstruction and visualisation of the bay window as a focus for their historical research and community heritage events which relate the full story of its chequered past to the local community and highlight its historical, cultural and religious significance. We have learnt 
a hell of a lot from the digital thing in that you can actually see how the bits fit together. You can see how beautiful it was. Through the technology and innovation of 3D laser scanning and 3D printing, the old Tixel Hall window project has not only created a new way for people to engage with and visualise this historic site, but has also helped to build a relationship between the community and their local heritage. The AHRC funding has been a real catalyst for allowing this new kind of research at De Montfort University to develop and grow in conjunction with community heritage groups in England and Wales. It's really allowed us to explore new ways of working with the community uh, and developing new digital techniques which meet their needs and objectives. Never before has history been so tactile or research so tangible. This project really shows how innovative new technology not only helps us look to our future, but also back to our past. Buildings are like people. They have stories to tell too. And using our technologies, using our 3D reconstructions, but also working with the heritage groups themselves, who in a co-production process with us, gather information to allow us to create the 3D reconstructions, we can help those buildings to have a voice of their own, to allow those stories to be told. Mm -hmm.